All right, family, we are out here for day 24 of the 30 day challenge on how to improve your relationship by 3x the amount. I am your girl, Marshawn Olanio. I am your life and relationship strategist. I am helping men and women out here to create and improve on the relationship that they want to create and build throughout their lifetime. All right, so what are we going to talk about today? Who we in the house? What you doing here? How you doing? How your family doing? <laughs> anyway, today we're going to talk about how happiness is a choice. If you guys have not already noticed, my personality is being happy. Happy all the time, all day. I get so many people that ask me, how are you so happy? All the time. Like, <laughs> the doctors that I work with, my coworkers, like they, they just want to know how I'm happy all the time. Even my husband. My husband be wanting to know how I'm happy all the time, too. And that's just my personality. It's also, some days I'm not happy. Some days I am not happy. Who can relate to this? Some days you are not happy out there and you're not feeling it. But you choose to be happy that day. For whatever reason, you are deciding to be happy. Hey, Jane, I see you. Thanks for watching. You're deciding to be happy. Let me read this quote to you by Abraham Lincoln because I think that it is just perfectly to fit here today on the subject of happiness. He says that most people are as happy as they make up their minds to be. Again, that's Abraham Lincoln. That's so true because really, like I said, happiness is a choice. Hey, Charmina, I see you. Thanks for watching, Sissy Poo. I get to see you in a couple days, honey. Yes. Anyway, happiness is a choice. It is something that we really have to make a conscious decision about, especially when I'm in my time of not feeling so well. A lot of times people don't know when I'm not feeling so well because I don't really show a lot of that on my face. I might get a little bit quieter than usual, but lot, lots of people do not know when I am sad or going through or, you know, that life is starting to take over because I choose to be happy. It really is a conscious decision that I have to make. Some days, most days, I don't have to make it just because of my personality. I am a happy-go-lucky person. I can find happiness in everything. <laughs> Most people that are happy, um, they're not held by their circumstances. I am one of them. Things happen in my life. Relationships are um, relationships. My relationship sometimes is not going happy-go-lucky. I could come to work and take it out on everybody. But I choose not to do that. I choose not to do that. Again, I want to make sure that you understand that happiness is a choice. It's not about what your spouse did to you or how your spouse talked to you. It's not about that person that... Um, um, crossed in front of you while you was driving was starting to give you road rage it wasn't that the fact that you are late and now your entire day is running late nope none of that it's not because you woke up on the wrong side of the bed it's not because you are more pessimistic than most people choose to be happy the people that are happy they do not um they don't seek happiness through their possessions or through people they choose to be happy because they want to be happy you know i'm telling you i do this often especially when i'm going through i don't want to have to come uh wherever i'm going even if it's just out and about whether it's coming to my nine to five or whatever whatever it is that i am doing i am choosing to be happy in that moment because i am making a conscious decision not to bring my issues and make other people pay for what i am not happy about you don't have to pay for what, um, you know, you don't have to punish people for the things that you're going through. So you can choose to be happy. So happy people who choose to be happy do not find the happiness in possessions or in people. Hey, Dakeisha, I see you. Hey, sugar. <laughs> That's not like my sister. <laughs> happiness is actually in front of each of us if we look for it. Again, I know that we're speaking about this whole thing on how to make your relationship happy, but today this really is about you. Excuse me, on how to improve your relationship, but today this really is about you and the choices that you are going to make just to be happy, period. This one could be taken in your life as well as in your relationship because anytime that you are happy, you actually start to bring more happiness towards you. You start, uh, start to attract that happiness towards you and in your life 
I am such a positive person. I am super optimistic. And sometimes I'm even overly optimistic to the point where people are like, no. But I only, I only, I'm not letting you steal my joy because you list, uh, because you don't believe in your thing. I believe in my thing. And I know whatever I put my mind to is going to work. In this case, improving my relationship. Hey, Ali, I see you. Thanks for watching. So in this case, improving my relationship. And so I know that I'm putting my mind and my foot forward to say that I'm going to have a better relationship no matter what. Like, this is why I'm here. This is why I'm sharing all of this information with you guys. Because you can have that blissful relationship yourself. The one that you are kind of like reaching for. The one that you see over there that's a little bit out of reach. You want a little bit of what they're doing and how they're doing it. You want to figure that out? This is why I'm here to give you the information. Because if I can help you not get a divorce or not get a breakup and move for forward in your relationship. So it's taken to the next level. Then I've done my job life gets in the way your relationship gets in the way which is why i'm a life and relationship strategist i'm helping you with the health of your relationship and the relationship could be the relationship with yourself which is why we're talking about this today because this is the relationship with yourself it's going to spill over into your romantic relationship the more positive that you are when you're choosing to be happy and some of the benefits of being happy are when you when you when you focus on the good guess what you attract the good to you the good will find you when you focus on the good you'll feel a lot younger a lot healthier guess what feeling good and being happy is contagious and those around you will want to be around you even more because you are a happy-go-lucky person I mean who really wants to be around the Debbie Downer do you really find yourself waking up and saying you know what Tasha just get on my dog on nerves. She always complaining. But guess what? I want to hang out with Tasha today. No, those are the very people that you try to avoid because they suck the energy out of you. They drain you. So because you're choosing to be happy, you start to get rid of those people that are just hanging on to you. Hey, Snow, I see you. Thanks for watching. Happiness is contagious you'll be younger and you'll look, look you'll look younger you'll feel healthier you'll be more productive in your day you'll be more productive in your relationship you'll be more productive with your spouse because you're choosing to be happy you're not choosing to let that conversation that went downhill ruin your entire day i mean i truly do not understand how people can let one thing ruin their entire day so because you was running late Whatever the circumstances that made you late, maybe it's a car accident, maybe your kids was acting up, whatever the circumstances was, you and your husband just got into it, you and your wife just got into it, it doesn't matter. You can still choose to be happy. Literally, happiness is a choice. But also being happy, um, the benefits of being happy, it lowers your risk of heart attack. I thought that that was just very important. Like, I don't want a heart attack. <laughs> I don't want a heart attack. So being happy uh, lowers the risk of heart attack. Also lowers the risk of you or the likelihood of you getting sick. I remember, I mean, y'all, seriously, I've mentioned this before, but if you're new, this is my second marriage. And every time when I was in my first marriage, we was going through so much turmoil. It wasn't horrible, but it was enough for me to get sick all the time because I was worrying and I was stressed out. I'm telling you, I was sick all the time in my first marriage. When you're stressed out, when you're not happy, when you're not, when you're, when you're um, going through all of this turmoil and in toxic situations, you are sick all the time. Sick, sick all the time. I'm talking about like the common cold, that cough that will not go away. That type of sick, just, just always there's lingering. And towards the end of my marriage is when it started, my first marriage is when it started to get bad. The last two years, I was always sick. And y'all, soon as I got out of that relationship, I, listen, I could have wrote a book about that seriously. Soon as I got out of the relationship, I was like, I don't remember being as sickly as I was before I got married. And then when it started to go downhill. And now that I'm out of this marriage, guess what I'll never get sick no more imagine that so once I release myself from that stress from that tox 
from that toxic relationship and that toxic situation, I stopped getting sick. On top of that, I wasn't happy. I wasn't happy. So if I wasn't happy, I was increasing my chances of getting sick. And I'm not even knowing that. On top of being in a toxic relationship. Sick all the time. I had a cough that wouldn't go away. Every time you turn around, I was sick. Yeah, I'm driving that one home because a lot of people don't even realize when they're staying sick all the time. It has to do with the relationship that you're in. Stress does lower your immune system. It does. It breaks it all the way down where those things could get in there. Another benefit to being happy is that you live longer. Why wouldn't you live longer? Of course you live longer by just being happy, being more positive. When you, when you are exuding positivity out to the world, then guess what? It's coming back to you. Hey, Tanisha, I see you. Thanks for watching. I'm telling you. Danielle, hey, welcome. I see you. <laughs> Sometimes Facebook don't tell me that you're on here too, so I just want you to know I don't forget to call you out. I just don't see you until after I log off. Anywho, so some simple ways that you can be ha a happier person on purpose. Make a conscious decision. Make a choice to be a happier person. It's just to start treating your spouse well and others around you in spite of no matter what you are choosing to be a happier person on purpose so start to treat others around you well and of course including your spouse even when you think that they do not deserve to be treated well again make a conscious decision make a choice to be happy and in being happy you're serving another way to be happy is just to focus on your strengths a lot of us always talk about our weaknesses, what we're not good at. I know I have issues with, like everybody else talking about myself because I don't want to feel like, oh, I'm conceited. I want other people to feel like, oh, she conceited or she thinks she know everything or whatever, right? We got all of that stuff going on, all of that toxic stuff that's rolling around in our head. And so we have an issue with talking about ourselves and quote unquote bragging about ourselves. Hey, Tamara, I see you done made it again today, honey. I'm telling you. Brag about yourself, talk about yourself, focus on your strengths. That's only going to help you get better. Hey, Leslie, I see you. Thanks for watching. I'm telling you, focus on your strengths. That's another way to make you happy. That's going to bring joy into your life. Another thing that you can do is just an accomplish one important task. Important task because a lot of us we have these long list of things to do and we forget about the most important one We start with the ones that we'll be able to knock off quicker But actually you should start with the biggest one the hardest one the one that's gonna give you the most quote-unquote stress just to get it off your list So one important task accomplish that you will feel happier about that because all the other stuff is so much easier to do Anyway, it's easy for you to do it Another thing that you can do is to choose to be mindful. Yeah, that's going to help you be ha a happier person because you'll be able to make better decisions on the spot. Decisions that are going to help you move to the next level, whatever that next level is. In this case, your relationship, improving on your relationship. Moving to the next level. Maybe you at girlfriend or boyfriend status. And maybe you can be at engagement status. Or maybe you're at engagement status. Maybe you can be at married status. Or maybe you are married status. But this is like your first couple years. And you can make sure that you are building a long lasting relationship. That you are creating a healthy relationship. That you are doing everything that you need to do. So you're choosing to be mindful today. So you can reap the benefits for tomorrow. Does that make sense? Does that make sense y'all? Another thing that you can do is just simply smile. <laughs> Leslie said, ouch, I've been avoiding a couple large tasks. Don't avoid them no more, sis. One, start on one. Knock that thing out. And then go to the next biggest one. You don't have to do them all in one day. See, that's what a lot of, a lot of us do. We, we try to knock off so many important tasks in one day and then we get overwhelmed and guess what? We stop all together. We don't even do it. We don't even do one, let alone three, four, however many you have. 
So decide on one important task, knock that off. And if you have to move the other important task back a day to do that, because tomorrow's another day, there is always something to do, honey. There's always something to do, so. Smile though. I'm going back to smiling because smiling is just, it's free. Smiling is easy. And the smile, people walk around like they scared to smile. Yeah, Dakeisha, yes. Yes. Sometimes, listen, y'all, I keep telling y'all I'm a work in progress because sometimes I walk past somebody and when they don't smile back or don't say hello back, I'll be like, yes, that was for you. Yeah, that was for you. Because it's so easy and it don't cause nothing. I'm not even saying you got to be all, all in my face, but hey, keep it moving. I'm not, saying, I'm not even saying that we got to stand around and hold a conversation because we don't. Just acknowledge that I'm there, though. Like, come on. Or you walking past somebody and then they put down their head. Like, I'll say something about that, too. Good morning. You don't have to put down your head. Why? Why are we doing that? Come on now. We already losing our human contact, our human um, interactions. So you're adding to it by putting down your head or acting like you don't see me. Stop it. Leslie says that smiling reduces stress hormones. Yes, it Listen. Yes. Yeah, it's so easy. It's so easy. I smile all the time. I told y'all, I know that this is not a, specifically to smiling, but I told y'all before that because I laugh so much, because I'm such a positive person, one guy, he didn't even want to date me. He told me I laugh too much. But in that, in that laughter, of course I'm smiling. But I don't care. Goodbye. You had some things that I'm glad we didn't make it. So I don't, don't want to put them on blast on here, but I will say I'm glad we didn't make it, okay? But God, okay? But God. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, two more things. We're going to wrap this up. Another way to be happy, a very easy thing, is to practice gratitude. I talked about this the other day. Make a conscious decision to practice gratitude with your spouse. Uh-oh, there's a bee over here. Go on now. I don't do bugs. Maybe I don't know, but I don't do bugs, even though I love nature. Moving on. Practice gratitude, specifically with your spouse, but also practice gratitude with yourself. Seriously. Focusing on your strengths, saying thank you for you just being a happy-go-lucky person. Saying thank you to yourself for getting the kids together. Saying thank you to yourself for cleaning up your house. Whatever it is, the small things really do matter. It's going to put a smile on your face and you're going to feel happier to yourself about yourself. You truly are. But you have to choose to be happy no matter what. It does not matter what's going on in your life. Me? I ain't gonna talk about you, but for me? <laughs> sometimes I'm too happy because I can find laughter and happiness in every situation. Even when it's a seemingly bad situation, I can find something to joke about and laugh about. Because that's me. I'm so overly optimistic. I'm so overly positive. I am truly a happy person and not just online like if when you meet me I and mean, most of y'all met me in person if you if you've met me in person you already know yeah she ain't lying she always happy <laughs> because i think that life is just too short and in my nine to five i actually <laughs> should i say this yeah i'm gonna say it i actually perform autopsies and seeing those people on the table lets me realize and understand how short life truly is and sometimes I just stand there and I wonder before I'm before I do the why incision I wonder how much they actually missed out on and how much how many diff, how many things they regret how many things they wish they could have done differently and now they missed out on their chance because their soul is no longer there so now I'm going to ask you, are you going to choose to be happy or are you going to choose to let these things, these things that are always going to come up, something is always going to come up. Are you going to choose to let that thing steal your joy, take you away from X, in this case from being a happy person, take you away from your, your spouse because you being all ignorant, take you away from your kids, start yelling at your kids for no reason just being irritated and annoyed with everybody around you 
all because you are choosing to let your day go downhill. Hey, Omar, I see you. So you're choosing to let your day go downhill. Why? One incident can change your whole day? Really? I never... And maybe you can let me know in the comment section below. How does that happen? How do you let that happen? Your whole day is ruined. Your whole day has taken a turn for the worse because of one incident. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Sis, we got to do better. Bro, we got to do better. Choose to be happy. Now, how are you going to use this in your relationship? Literally, how are you going to use you being happy, you being a happier person, you being a happier spouse? How is that going to change your relationship? That's the homework to seriously think about how being happy will change the dynamics of your relationship. Being happier no matter what. Being happier in spite of. Let me know. I want to know how it's going to change the dynamics of your relationship if you just sit back and think about just being a happier person, a more positive person, and choosing to be happy, to be happier. How will that change your relationship? I will see you guys back here tomorrow for day 25 of How to Improve Your Relationship by 3X. Tomorrow around the same time, which is in between 8.15 and 8.30, Pacific Standard Time. Hey, Terry, I see you. I can't wait to meet you. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a great day.